as a break from a week of doing nothing but tweaking animations in Blender and playing around with particle and rigid body effects, I thought I'd go back to the canvas and have a go at some uh, analog art again. To keep things simple, I kept it to just two drawings. Three drawings. A terrible apple still life. A phone box based off some pixel art I made in... Ooh. So apparently I did this as a tutorial back in 2007. So this random pixel art tutorial I made in 2007, I thought I would make again in paint in real life. And finally, we have one very grumpy cat. With an abundance of confidence early on, I started sketching out both the cat and the phone box. That confidence soon went away when I realized I had to paint straight lines. And with the cat, try and get proportions on what is essentially a giant gray cotton ball. So for the phone box, it seemed to be every time I did something, I made it worse. The idea was to go for a blurry kind of ambient background and then very sort of sharply contrasted, um, reflective looking metal with a glowing interior. So I just did the tried and tested technique of adding more and more color and razzmatazz to try and distract from the fact that none of the lines were straight. For the cat picture at this stage, I think I called it finished. It wasn't perfect and I think I learned the lesson to pay more attention to the proportions when sketching and when over painting as well because um, some of the stuff like the eyes and everything drifted away from where they should have been. But that's the lesson for next time, I guess. So skipping right ahead to the cheating part where I just took a ruler and a Sharpie and just started drawing straight lines over the paint directly. I did make a proper isometric grid to draw the shape onto, but something went awry and it all went a bit wonky. Not a lot to say about the apple other than it was completely eyeballed. I didn't sketch it at all. I was just trying to paint the color and the light. I did cheat and add like a, a black line around the outside and made it kind of cartoony. So I've got to really get over that, that need to define shapes and symbols more just to describe the light and the color. But yeah, I guess it looks somewhat like an apple and uh, it's inoffensive in its own way. The phone box I just finished with adding some more detail like the emoji for the sign, some lights on the glass and reflections and more sort of suggestions of uh, pavement and reflections and stuff in the background. But yeah, I think it was a good lesson. This one in how not to execute something with sharp lines that uh, in the future I think I should have some kind of template or work harder on trying to define the shapes. Maybe with even masking tape or something to then get those, those sharp lines. Because I did want to make it quite geometric looking and it looked kind of blobby and cake-like in the end. So uh, lesson learned. As a quick bonus thing, I did do a quick paint over of the cat picture to see just how far off I was with the proportions. So I just used the original image, overlaid it, and then had the painting behind to then try and manipulate it into the shape and then see just how far off the proportions were if I lined everything up with the eyes or something. So having seen how far off the painting was from the photo, I decided to do a quick paint over of the photo using planes of color sampled from the painting and then working backwards then try and get a sort of painterly look in Photoshop to then see what it would have looked like if I'd have paid more attention to proportions. This is the, uh, the paint over version. This is painted straight on top of the photo. You can see how far off the um, like the mouth area and stuff is too big and the proportions with the chin and everything else are not quite right. The nose, I don't have the kind of skill to be able to achieve photorealism, but I guess I was looking for it to be 
recognizable as the um as the cat on the right so i think practice makes perfect i just need to work on my actual sketching skills more i think well about everything where i'll be back in blender again i promise <laughs>